Hello and welcome into another video of Python automation series. Sending emails could be a boring task, especially if it is repetitive and has the same content and being sent to the same recipients. Automate sending emails will reduce the time and effort and decrease the level of human error associating with mistyping mistakes. Would you like to know how you can automate sending emails via Python? I will show you how in a very simple and easy way. But first, Let's import our libraries. The first library, or the only library that we're going to import, is called smtplib. What is SMTP? The Simple Mail Transfer Protocol is a communication protocol for electronic mail transmission. As an internet standard, SMTP was first defined in 1982 and updated in 2008. Now, let me create a function. We'll call that function sendMail. Inside our function sendMail, I'm going to have a variable called server. In this server, I'm going to use our SMTP library. And I'm going to access a class called SMTP. And the SMTP class takes different parameters. The first parameter is our host, and the second parameter, which is very important, is our port. As I'm using Gmail account to send from my Gmail account into another Gmail account, I'm going to use the SMTP associated with the Gmail account. The second parameter is our port. In this case, it's 587. And all these information can find easily on internet depending on your service provider. Next, I'm going to use a special command called ELO. To tell you more about ELO, this command actually, or the ELO command, sent by an email server to identify itself when connecting to another email server to start the process of sending an email. As we said, without it, there is no communication between emails. Next, I want to start the TLS. Server.start TLS it puts the connection to the SMTP server into TLS mode. When using simple mail transfer protocol to send mail, we rely on a combination of start TLS and transport layer security or secure sockets layer to encrypt our mail and help it safely land in the inbox. So the start TLS is mainly for security reasons. The next thing we need to do is we need to repeat the same line 11 we will repeat it here on line 13. This is mainly to establish the connection between the sender and the receiver. Next, I want to allow the server to log in into my Gmail account. I'm using my Gmail account here, but you can use another testing email. So we're going to use our server variable and we will use the login function and inside here I will write my email address for the password you can simply write password like that and you can create your password here in a separate txt file you put your password here and if you want the server.login to read your password, we need to do a simple with open. We will open the password txt. And we want to read what's inside as x. And now I will say password equal to x dot read. And now password is defined. 
great next thing we need to do is we need three things the subject the body and the message for the subject we can create another variable called subject and let's say good morning from Beck Brace next I want the body and I will do the same thing that I did with the password so let me copy that I'll paste it here but instead of password I write body inside my body.txt I have a plain text file here and this is the body of the email that I want to send finally I need to get my message and the message is simply is the subject and the body the message will be equal to and I'm using the F string I'm saying subject equal to the subject next I want maybe three lines and the body just a few things are remaining I need now to send the mail so I will again use my server variable and I will use my send mail function and I will pass in three things the first thing from the second thing to and the third thing is the message but of course I'm not going to let them like that this is for you just to understand from this is the email that Python will log in in order to send that mail to is the recipient email and message is what we defined here okay from I'm going to write my email again so back development at gmail.com and don't forget the comma two is the recipient email which is another account of mine or another young YouTube channel of mine called PyGameWasabi it has an email address PyGameWasabi at gmail.com comma and by the end of that I need to just getting a print uh, for a message telling me that the message has been sent successfully and let's indent all that because there is no indentation all right the last thing we need to do is we need our if name equal to main go ahead and invoke our function send mail all right and this is it that's all we need to do now I won't use the password here I have another method that I would like to show you so instead of the password and as I'm using Gmail there is something called Gmail password app let me show you if you will come here and you will type Gmail app password this will let you enter inside your account which is your typical Gmail account 
and now you can generate a random password so this was the last one that I have used I will delete that select app email select device and I'm using Windows computer generate and I have a random password I will take it copy and I will come here and I will paste that in and don't forget the quote so this is basically it now let's go ahead and try that terminal new terminal okay let me now type python main.py enter message is sent successfully let me go ahead and check my email and we will see did we receive a mail indeed this is the pi game the recipient email and it has received from back development which is my email let's open that and there it is good morning from back brace and this is the body so that's it guys thank you very much for watching the video i hope you liked it and please tell me if you would like to see other automation series from python in the next videos take care and be safe